But let me show you what it looks like underwater now. So we're starting with some 1 8 ounce jig heads. Stuff goes, this stuff gets everywhere, man. Hey, Maribu. Okay, so we're gonna take some olive marabou, about an inch. Actually, I'm gonna bring this forward. Grab that and I'm gonna trim it. So now I've got some crystal flash. If you can see, I've just cut the corner of that off so that way I can just pull out one strand at a time. This is just to give it a little bit of flash. It's kind of holding it with my fingers so it comes down both sides. Go ahead and trim these right now a little bit longer than the marabou. We've got one grizzly hackle feather. And I'm going to strip this. And what I did is I just stripped the butt in. I want it to get thinner as it hackles towards the head. Just need a tiny little tie-in point. I'm going to tie that in. Bring our thread forward. And we're going to just palmer this forward. Just like if you're wrapping a, a dry fly. And we'll just capture that. And we'll get a couple rumps in front. Put it, pull it all back. And then we'll take him and trim that. Next, I'm just going to take just a little bit of this red, just a pinch of this red dotting, and spin up just a little, just a fine little dubbing noodle. This just kind of like gives it the Gives it a little hot spot and kind of looks like gills of a bait fish. Our whip finish tool. And we will give this a five turn whip finish. Come in here and trim it. I like to grab my little dubbing brush and just brush out a little bit of that red. This has been a really good little crappie bug. Crappie panfish bluegill. The reason I'm using the, the UV head cement is so that I can show you guys on what it looks like underwater. Because I can dry this this fast. Okay, let's look at it underwater. Okay, I got my wife's good china.
you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful evening wherever you're at in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everyone.